What's going on, YouTube? My name is Time to Rage, or you guys can call me Rage. Um, I have been seriously beginning a lot of questions about uh, what I record with, um, my recording uh, settings, my in-game settings, how much FPS I get. Well, all those questions hopefully will be mediated after this video. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple tests. Um, I have first I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer questions. Uh, with my voice then afterwards I'll show you pictures and all that kind of good stuff but to begin with I use DX story um, I don't know what version it is I just know I downloaded it around June when I first started to record actually no I'm sorry not June I think it was May so it's not a very up-to-date version but it's a free I mean uh, it's a not a free version but it's a borrowed version and um, so yeah, that works for me. Next thing, uh, what do I, uh, how do I encode, or what codec do I use? Well, this one I got from 99. He uh, recommended to use um, the X264 codec, which is free. And uh, I've been using it for a very long, well not a very long time, but I've been using it recently and it's given good, good quality, it's given uh, great compression. Um, my FPS is still decent. Um, it, it's very taxing on the CPU, I will tell you that much. Pretty much this codec is like fraps, pretty much. If you don't have a very good CPU, then it will tax your FPS because the CPU it will be just being pretty much being used to uh, compress while recording. Um, my in-game settings are uh, right here. Now this this is always subject subject to change. I just you know. Sometimes I like to play 1280 by 720. Other times I like to do, you know, native resolution. Just for the purpose of this video and what I usually do use, I'm going to put it on to 1280 by 720. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Rage again. Uh, so the video just cut off. Now I got the pictures of my results, uh, my settings, uh, my, uh, my render settings in Premiere, my, uh, I guess, my settings in DX Tori the FPS min max average um, the time it was uh, the video that I recorded was around 13 minutes we'll round it off to 14 minutes so it was like 13 minutes of some change so it was a total of 14 minutes um, I got a very good size so it was ridiculous how small it is and the quality is just beautiful you guys will take a look at it while well, you already did but uh, other than that uh, hopefully you guys learned something I'll be commentating over the pictures as well alright so uh, I'm gonna stop this video clip or, or not this video clip but this audio clip and I'll uh, be commenting over the pictures later. Alright guys, me again. Alright, so this picture that I have up for you guys is a picture of the file size. It is 1.08 gigabytes, alright? Um, the next picture I have up is uh, right here. It It is the next picture, uh, what it says is uh, the, the, like the length of the video that I recorded. Now, the way um, this codec works, it does not leave length on the video itself but it leaves it on the audio stream that you have to uh, extract so the actual video is 13 minutes long so from 13 minutes long we got 1.0 some gigabytes which is pretty damn good these are my uh, settings in the video tab of DX Tor. you know it's really not that complicated just 1280 by 720 there you go not much there this is where it gets kind of uh, <clears throat> confusing uh, we'll start from the top down uh, first one is ultra fast preset and then don't touch anything else you want to leave uh, tuning to none profiles auto level auto next thing you want to change is the rate control uh, it will be single pass qua quantizer based CQP and I keep mine at 25 it gives me good quality for good compression if you increase it it will lower the file size but lower quality as you see in there the higher the number is the, I'm sorry the lower the number is the um, the more uh, quality you get, but the bigger file size, obviously. Next thing you want to uh, choose is uh, the output mode, which is VFW, and then the VFW 4CC will be X264. It's lowercase x, not uppercase. Um, next thing you want to have changed is the log level, which is none. The SAR width and the SAR height is one to one, and that's that for that. Next thing uh, will be you go to. Um, you go to the, like the chip tab on the on DX Tori itself. You want to have everything on here uh, unclicked. The reason why I don't like these two clicked uh, enabled synchronous surface lock 
and wait for available buffer especially is because it lowers your in-game FPS but what it does also it, it uh, reduces the dip in FPS I'd rather have higher FPS and more dip which I don't even notice while scrimming than lower FPS and less dips in FPS uh, I limit my video FPS to 120 DX Tori and BF3 wise because I really don't feel you need to go any higher than that uh, and as for me, for, for the processing, processing threads, it's at three, at, I'm sorry, it's at six processing threads. I have six core CPU, so you post six threads for it. Um, up to you what you want to do, but that's what I use, so I might as well share it with you guys. Other than that, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please do ask. Thank you, and goodbye. Also, guys, I forgot to add this on as well. Um, the minimum FPS on the video was uh shoot it was um uh 16 minimum fps which i didn't notice the average was 87.491 and the max was 121 fps i just want to add that also